Hey guys, it's Frey and today we're talking about email marketing and which software you should choose according to your business. I've tested out every single one of these softwares that I'm gonna talk about in this video uh, throughout the last three years. What will really help you narrow down your options is what kind of content are you gonna make and how are you going to get to know your customer better? The first thing that I ask myself before I even look for an email marketing software is like, what am I gonna be posting? What am I gonna be writing about? What kind of content am I sharing? If you have a physical product and you're selling something very visual, something like art or banners or clothing, and you wanna really sell the product and tell the story in a visual way, you might be looking for the best graphic templates or you might be looking for ways to really make that visual shine. Now, the second thing that I need to know is which software is going to allow me to understand my customers better. In your store, you might have several different products that speak to one kind of customer. And not all of the customers that are gonna shop at your store are the same. They're obviously gonna like different things. And if you have a wide array of products, they're probably gonna end up liking one specific product more than another one. So which software is really gonna allow me to organize that? and which software doesn't do that so well. So first let's talk about MailChimp. This is the first software I used. So MailChimp is painted as a very user-friendly email marketing software. It's very much focused around uh, graphics and visual templates. It's very like drag and droppy, it's kind of like Squarespace. In terms of being tech savvy, you don't have to be very tech savvy to operate and know your way around MailChimp. MailChimp is really good for if you're selling illustrations or graphics, or maybe jewelry, something that you know customers want to see visually and not so much in writing. But because it is so graphic design heavy and there's so many different templates and there's a lot of um, uploading photos and videos into your email, I found that it can get glitchy sometimes. And I remember having to um, deal with some of the glitches in writing copy and uploading uh, visual designs. Also with MailChimp, I believe it is free up until you have 2,500 contacts or something. So if you're just getting started, MailChimp is definitely a pretty good option, but in the long run, you may have to transfer to another email marketing software if you're looking for a better deal. Next, Clavio is the second software that I tried out. So before I dive in, I just wanna give a quick disclaimer and say that I've spent the least amount of time working with Clavio because for my personal preference, I didn't like the user interface and that kind of drove me away. And I felt that it was a little bit more difficult to use just right off the bat. And I was quickly turned off by it. But I do think it is a great software uh, for a lot of reasons. And a lot of companies do use Clavio. So I don't wanna deter anyone away from that. So what's different about Clavio is that they offer SMS service where you can essentially create like a texting relationship with your subscribers. I know it's getting really popular right now, but I personally don't prefer it. Um, I think that email is still super strong and very relevant. And so I don't wanna talk about something I don't know, but Clavio does offer that while the two other softwares I'm gonna talk about do not offer that. In my experience, the software worked fine in that I was able to send out the email and I was able to uh, attach links, do photos, kind of do the basic stuff. But for some reason, I have to say that Clavio's user interface really drove me away. Even though it was integrated with uh, Shopify, I felt like at its price point, it wasn't something that I wanted to deal with. Now, Clavio is the highest priced software just in terms of you know, total subscribers. I found that Clavio was more expensive earlier on for the, probably the first five or 10,000 subscribers. But once you build your email list up to you know, 50,000, 100,000, I think that Clavio is a great option. So now let's dive into our last contender, which is ConvertKit. Now this is the third software that I use and I currently use it for both of my Shopify stores. So the reason why I decided to go with ConvertKit and change all of my email marketing functions to this service was because I wanted to focus more on the writing. As my email marketing strategy developed and matured, what I found was the most helpful wasn't so much those really graphic-y, picture-heavy emails that just said sale, 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 20% off. 
Really what I wanted to do through email was establish a long-term relationship. One of the features that ConvertKit has that isn't available in MailChimp and Clavio is what I call bucketing, but I think they call it segmentation. A quick example of this is I sell shoes, right? It'll essentially create buckets of different customers who are interested in like only boots or only sandals or only heels. And that way I can create content that's more specifically geared towards those kind of customers. Another second reason is ConvertKit is not very fancy. It's super simple and super clean interface. I remember signing up for the software and there's a lot of helpful tutorials, but even when I skipped all of them, I knew how to navigate the uh, back end of, of the email marketing. I don't wanna have to learn a software. I wanna get to writing or creating an email that's gonna help me grow my business and get to know my customers better. Now, as a footwear company, it's still important for me to include graphics and stuff. So um, I like that ConvertKit still allows me to do that in a really clean way. I can add buttons, links, photos, videos, whatever I need to do. It's just a simple, clean template so that I can really focus on what's important, which is writing um, an authentic, letter to my subscribers and updating them with what's going on with the brand. Price-wise, it is more expensive than MailChimp, I believe, but for the ease of use and the uh, segmentation feature, I'm totally down to pay a little bit more. That's just me personally. So if you wanna use ConvertKit and give it a try and check out what I'm talking about, then go ahead and click the download button below. I believe they have a trial, a free trial as well and you can go ahead and take advantage of that. And lastly, the most important thing is that if this has helped you in any way, I would really appreciate it if you just click that thumbs up button or hit the subscribe button if you like talking business. With that guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.